you have to take a picture that no one else in the world can take. That's what gets noticed. And that's what provides meaning and value. You can look at that a number of ways, even if you consider in the broader spectrum, not just photography, but of art. You have to be making things that no one else can make. And, and for some people, that means um, diving into a volcano or um, you know, some physical feat that no one else can get, or, or technologically, no one can do it. That's one of the reasons I arrived at a snapshot, because this is something that anyone in the world can do, because nobody else lives your life but you. And if you're taking pictures of your life, you're constantly creating snapshots, those are truly images that, that nobody else is seeing, especially the way that you do. The best thing about this Dasein project is that it's a celebration of the snapshot, which I think is, has become some of the most important photography of our culture. I'm a photographer and a filmmaker. It's the only career I've ever had. My educational background is philosophy, the philosophy of art specifically, and aesthetics. I left school and quitting that was one of the best things I ever did. I think now a path for artists is through the commercial world and I took that path. I took that path and I don't have uh, one bit of doubt that it was the right path. I've, I've never taken pictures for money specifically as the end goal. I've taken pictures to make stuff and to be able to have a living as a creative and get paid is really just a means to more creating, whether that's commercial or, or finer. I think that this distinction between the two that, that lines shall not be blurred across is, is bullshit. When you think about a snapshot, I think historically it has been that there wasn't an intention there or the intention somehow lacked merit. But when you distill it down to smaller moments and smaller considerations, there's just as much intention. It's just a shorter duration of intention. The intention is there. And, and duration shouldn't necessarily be the measure of intention. I find the snapshot to be much more personal and intimate. It's a closer mirror, I feel like, to to life. It's not passing through any filters. There's no one telling you to move the camera a little bit to the left or to the right. And again, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not judging that. It's just a snapshot is different. It's just it's that much closer to, to the moment. Well, my decision to bring this project to New York was um, purely a selfish one in that this is a very vibrant and rich place and when I'm talking about taking snapshots that are meaningful to me about what it is that I'm doing I wanted this real um, initial push in this direction to be in a place where there was so much going on both within my world and the world moving past me that I would be able to, to get lost in it and, and not be overthinking it, but just be, have it wash over me. The Ace Hotel here in New York was basically a perfect um, complement to the vision that I've had for this project for some time. It's got a community feel to it. There's people of all, all walks uh, and, and I'm really grateful that through my friends at the Ace, that I'm able to connect with a lot of the um, the more interesting and creative people that roll through there. They they connect us, so it's a great way for me to to meet people, and more specifically, it, it gives me access to photograph them. The Ace Hotel gave us the space, the gallery space, just off the the lobby, and I reached out and tapped the people who pay attention to what it is that I'm doing out in the world and said, I'd love to see your snapshots and spread the word. So on one wall, we've just got a huge, huge selection of pictures, hundreds and hundreds of snapshots. 
that are a mix of my work, um, the work of some of the most important and influential photographers of our time, and, and the work of the world, and that changed every day. So you have this wall of images that is, is um, powerful and, and changing and dynamic. It, just like all of those moments on there are fleeting and temporary, so is the, the installation, and so are all of our lives. And that connects you to your own mortality, unlike, unlike anything. There's very little routine in my life, typically. Um, it's very eclectic and dynamic and um, not always for the better. Deciding to carve out time to kind of segment my life a little bit where, where I'm, I'm shielding myself from that. And it's not like I'm locking myself in a cave somewhere and becoming a monk. I mean, I moved to a, a hipster hotel in the middle of Manhattan. But when you turn off the, uh, a lot of the typical responsibilities from day to day, it puts me at least in a place where I'm able to think really, really clearly. And thinking clearly is a, is a huge component of creating good art for me. I saved my pennies up so that I could explore a little bit but what I'm doing isn't at all what's required to achieve this little slice of solace it it can be achieved on a daily basis it can be achieved by a long walk every day with with a camera whatever it is that you do in the world if you can carve out some time to to create and separate yourself from your normal routine you will be rewarded